Hello, everyone, and welcome to Child of Morta, or Children of Morta. Let me see if I can find the title screen real quick. There we go. This game is a bit of an eye-opener for me. As to me, this is my first real deep dive into a roguelike. I know there's the Binding of Isaac, and I know I've played Monster Train, but something about this game caught me. Caught me by surprise, mostly. So I took it. I played it for a while and stopped because I felt as though I wasn't good enough at games. I don't think I'm good enough, but I'm willing to try harder to get through things that I couldn't before. So, thank you all for joining me on this journey to the child, the children of Morta. Don't mind that. Play playing through the main story, doing a new save slot. I'm not going to be playing on hard mode, because I'm not getting enough at that. We can try it later, but not right now. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers, but the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark Something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rey's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shower. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. God, this game makes me feel a certain way. Ugh. It does such a good job of presenting itself. And, I hope I did the same for you. 
Obviously, we got our tutorial. Click the click the swing. Left shift. You you could see the buttons down here for what does what. And uh... Rhea, a land long forgotten, a place of unimaginable beauty. These are your save points. You'll respawn here when you die. Or not when you die, but uh... I mean, maybe? It first appeared as sludge given life. Slithering creatures, small and vile. John uses his sword to attack foes. Press in to use your primary attacks. These are very simple enemies. Just spam click, it'll be fine. Like, that's what this is here for. Don't worry. These will come later for if you get hit. You can also hold the click button. The right mouse button, or left mouse, I can't remember which it is right now. Because I am a bad gamer. There it is. Our path forward. Open. Yeah. Ah, I'm still not used to, like, the sword and shield. It is easily the one I don't play with the most. There we go. Also, health pots. Those exist. I like moving around the enemies. Turns out I do just enough damage to where I... Healy Circle... No, 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 not Healy Circle. Save the circle. Hopefully. A wall impeding further progress. A battle was certain. John has the special ability to use his shield to block incoming attacks. Use latch shift to hold your shield. You can also attack while holding your shield, but. You'll have a le you'll have less range. However, you will be invincible for wherever you're holding the shield. itself. The corruption abated, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life. The 
shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. A divine grace, a powerful buff, a powerful item to aid you with buff. We got. Alters ignition. Damage enemies burn people. Or my damage burns people. That's cool. Before him was now one more dangerous than those that came before. Shoot. A whiff punish. have to learn this man I'm not hurt so no need to use it goblins a familiar threat albeit farther out than usual <laughs> Magnificent, but dangerous. A land of love found and of love lost. Before him was sacred ground, left untouched in days gone by. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, with bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part. Now we got a familiar. And now we got our first... Well... Divine Relic. Great and temp... This is Electrocop... Electropocalypse. Electrocopolis. Away from her! These relics usually have a 30 to a minute cooldown, depending on how strong they are. This one seems to be one of the weaker ones because we got a 30 second cooldown. Before the Guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming, destroying others, they corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks.
Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? The ancient tree had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror. Creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption. A cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight, especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the Sanctuary. Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. And with that, I think that's a good place to end it. Yeah. I hope you all have a great day. And that your day only gets better from here. My name is Jim Fury. Peace out. See you guys later.